with the area's certified, most accurate forecast six years in a row. Meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. All right, here we go on this early Thursday afternoon. Right now, Storm Team 5 Skyview camera powered by Pella Windows and Doors in Oshkosh. Looking to the west, you notice some of those high-level clouds starting to move in. Those are coming from the showers and storms that are currently moving across western Wisconsin. Sunny skies at the moment in Appleton, but again, those clouds are off to the west, so we will start to see those move in uh, over the next few hours. So plenty of sunshine at the moment in Green Bay, and with that sunshine, temperatures have warmed fairly quickly. Now 84 currently with a dew point of 63, so a little humidity in the air, but the real humid air is currently across the southern Wisconsin. We'll get to why that's important here in just a moment. You will notice an increase in cloud cover over the next few hours and the chance for showers and storms basically between 3 o'clock this afternoon for our western areas to about, about midnight for many of us tonight, at least for the strongest storms, and then potentially some heavy rain late tonight and into the early morning hours tomorrow. But temperatures across the area, even along the lakeshore in the low to even middle 80s, 73 the cooler spot right now at Washington Island, and dew points, which were in the 40s and 50s the past two days, now starting to creep up into the 60s for a few locations. We have to really get into the mid to upper 60s when it really starts to feel humid, and that humidity would be fuel for showers and storms here later on today. So just how far north that real humid air gets will play a big role in just how strong these storms can be later on this afternoon. But right now, our satellite and radar is very, very quiet. Lots of sunshine across the eastern portion of the state right now. But off to the west, a broken line of showers and thunderstorms, some of which have been strong and severe uh, earlier today across Minnesota, now making their way into western Wisconsin. Do have a severe thunderstorm warning for the northern portions of Iowa. Now we have the stationary front. Uh, north of that front, conditions not nearly as humid, but across southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, and northeastern Iowa, dew points are in the mid to upper 60s. And these storms like to ride along, along that boundary of the slightly drier air to the north and more humidity to the south. So we'll be watching just how far north that front gets here later on this afternoon. No watches or warnings for our area, but there still are a few counties off to the west under a severe thunderstorm watch. The Storm Prediction Center has the enhanced risk for severe weather across central and western Wisconsin this afternoon and into the evening and a slight risk for severe weather for much of northeastern Wisconsin. That does include Green Bay, the Lakeshore, Appleton and uh, areas around Fond du Lac and Sheboygan. That risk a little bit lower the closer you get to Wisconsin UP border. The main threat from these storms here later on this afternoon and evening will be the potential for some damaging winds and some very heavy rain. So let's look at future casts. Showers and storms off to the west right now, then making their way eastward. Here's 3 o'clock, just about to push into our western areas, and some of these could be on the strong side. For Green Bay, Appleton, Oshkosh, Fond du Lac, I'd say between 3 and 5 o'clock is when these storms will start to move through, and then after 5 o'clock for areas along the lakeshore. Then we'll be watching for the potential for more development off to the west. Notice all the oranges and reds. That's the potential for some very heavy rain. So flooding could be a concern for some areas late tonight and into early Friday morning. So plenty of things happening in the next 24 hours. Make sure to stay tuned here later on this evening and into the morning hours tomorrow. As for the rest of today, a warm and humid day expected. Showers and storms arrive for our western areas around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Highs away from the lake in the mid to upper 80s. And then for tonight, scattered showers and storms could have some very heavy rain as well with low temperatures only in the mid to upper 60s. 80s continue again on Friday, warm and humid through the weekend with another chance for showers and storms and those temperatures staying warm early next week. The Kagan Allergy Report for today has pollen high and the mold is very high. And you can always get the latest forecast updates on our Facebook page. Give us a follow up WFRV Local 5, the Storm Team 5 weather app. If you don't have it, download it right now because we will likely have uh, some watches and warnings here later on today. You know, that app is very important because you can tell when it's coming into your area yeah. with the app and it just keeps you updated. Good to have. All right. Thanks a lot.